Hi, Mike, it's Joe Friedman. I'm here at 5405 Brilliance, and I wanted to do a walkthrough video. I'm gonna walk through the house, kind of show you some of the, I know you've already seen on the interior before, but I'm going to uh, kind of point out some things maybe from my perspective. Uh, I think maybe it'll be useful, right? Uh, first, I'm gonna show you guys the neighborhood. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys done your homework online based on our conversations we've had so far uh, it's a newer neighborhood Miranda built Miranda is one of the one of the bigger builders around here they make a they make a good product so I would tell you if they were one of the dodgy ones but I, they are not this is the neighborhood that's my new dad van you like that sweet baby the very first new vehicle I've ever purchased but now that I'm living that dad life, you know. <laughs> um, block construction, uh, which I think we maybe talked about. Block construction gets a slight insurance discount in Florida versus, say, a um, uh, wood frame. Uh, the roof is, I mean, obviously, you know, the year of the house. Everything's practically uh, not brand new, but everything's very much on the newer side. So that is a... They're called, a, it's called a 30 year dimensional shingle roof, but in Florida, I tell everyone, you should expect 18 to 22 years out of that roof. So since that roof's about five years old at this point, you should expect 13 to 17 more years of useful life. Plenty of good life left in the roof. Uh, I point that out because it's very expensive to replace roofs. Uh, again, block construction. Uh, it was built after the Southern Building Code was really overhauled. So this house is going to be very inexpensive to insure. You can see these studs up here. Those hold the uh, hurricane shutters that attach. That's another insurance discount. This is all a very long way of saying insurance for that property will be very affordable, thinking maybe less than 1,500 a year, certainly. You guys have already been, you know, you kind of understand the uh, layout, of course. Um, you got this office area off to the left. Walk through the main house kitchen here to your left. Very much the open floor plan. Very popular design. I've seen a lot of houses like this. Uh, this exact design, I should, I should say. Garage through there, standard two car garage, but I will be the first one to tell you, if you're like a big garage guy like I am, you will be disappointed because this is what a two car garage is in Florida. You're never gonna get two cars in a two car garage in Florida. Back to the main house. Really kind of a cool floor plan idea, very much oriented for uh, I don't want to pigeonhole it, but you see this bedroom right here, of course. Guest bathroom. Here's like your uh, nook, which would make a really great uh, playroom or a secondary sitting room with a, a secondary TV. Then there's this uh, kind of pass-through room with direct access to the master that I know you know about already. Uh, very cool. Very cool design. Very popular with young families. We have the washer and dryer, proper laundry room. Behind that little door is the air handler for the AC. Again, we're in a five-year-old home. I tell everyone to expect 12 to 15 years out of your air conditioning unit if you maintain it, meaning you're getting annual service and you just overall take care of it. Again, the reason I point that out because just like a roof, they are expensive to replace. So you can reason, you could feel pretty good that you've got probably, you know, five, a minimum of five more good years out of that unit. Large master bedroom. There's your pass through to the, uh, to the nursery in this case. Large walk-in closet. Not a huge walk-in closet, and it certainly doesn't, they're not doing themselves any favors based on how jam-packed it is, but it is a good size walk-in closet. Here is the master bathroom. Countertop height sinks, uh, meaning it comes up to about my waist. 
It's nice, uh, very popular, definitely a thing that you see in modern homes and modern bathrooms because you don't have to bend down as far when you're shaving or just brushing your teeth or whatever. It's a more comfort oriented counter height. <clears throat> Got your tub there. Certainly worth appreciating that you have floor to ceiling tile in the tub, in the, uh, in the shower. I do like that. And we've got the tall ceilings and uh, you know all the other things that I, I think you can kind of see in the video. Back porch, which is just kind of a little corner of the house. One thing I really like is that it is a cohesive back porch and the ceiling is, um, or I should say, it, it, the, the entire roof of the property follows the same original roof line. So it's not like a porch was added and then they had to do a flat roof or in some way tie in a secondary roof to the existing roof. This was all the original design. So this area is not gonna be prone to leaking or you're not gonna be replacing this roof every five years instead of every 15 years, etc. cetera. So uh, I like a nice cohesive design. And of course you can see that we got the, uh, the pond back there with the, with the nice pier and everything, so. That's what I have for you in this video. And now I'm gonna call you and we're probably gonna talk about a lot of this stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon.